Prince Hall Freemasonry, a brief history of African Lodge number 459. On March 6, 1775, Prince Hall and 14 black men were made Masons in Lodge number 441 of the Irish Registry attached to the 30th British Foot Infantry at Castle William Island in Boston Harbor, Massachusetts. It marked the first time that black men were made Freemasons in America. About a year later, since the conflict between England and American had commenced, the British Foot Infantry left Boston along with its lodge, leaving Prince Hall and his fellow Masons without a lodge. Before the lodge left, Worshipful Master Bat gave them a permit to meet as a lodge and bury their dead in true Masonic form. This permit, however, did not allow them to do any Masonic work or take on any new members. Under this permit, African Lodge No. 1 was organized on July 3rd, 1776, with Prince Hall as a Worshipful Master. It wasn't long before the Lodge received an additional permit from the Provincial Grand Master John Rowe to walk in procession on St. John's Day. On March 2nd, 1784, African Lodge No. 1 petitioned the Grand Lodge of England, the premier or mother Grand Lodge of the world, for a charter to organize a regular Masonic Lodge with all their rights, lights, benefits, privileges, thereunto prescribed. The Grand Lodge of England issued a charter on September 29, 1784 to African Lodge No. 459, the first Lodge of Blacks in America. African Lodge No. 459 grew and prospered to such a degree that Worship Master Prince Hall was appointed a Provincial Grand Master in 1791 and out of this grew the first Black Provincial Grand Lodge. In 1797, he organized a lodge in Philadelphia and one in Rhode Island. These lodges were designated to work under the charter of African Lodge No. 459. In December 1808, one year after the death of Prince Hall, African Lodge No. 459 in Boston African Lodge No. 459 in Philadelphia, which was working under the original charter of African 459 Lodge in Boston, and Hiram Lodge No. 3 in Providence, Rhode Island, met in a General Assembly of the Craft and organized African Grand Lodge, sometimes referred to as African Grand Lodge No. 1. In 1847, out of respect for their founding father and first Grand Master, Prince Hall, they changed their name to the Prince Hall Grand Lodge, the name it carries until today. In 1848, the Union Lodge No. 2, Rising Sons of St. John's No. 3, and Celestial Lodge No. 4 became the first lodges organized under the name Prince Hall Grand Lodge. From these beginnings, there now, and some 5,000 lodges and 47 Grand Lodges who trace their lineage to the Prince Hall Grand Lodge jurisdiction of Massachusetts. Honorable Brother Justin A. Petty is the 74th most worshipful Grand Master for Massachusetts and carries on a tradition that was started by past Grand Master brother Prince Hall over 200 years ago. Grandmaster Petty was elected on December the 10th, 2023, and his public installation was on February the 3rd, 2024. The 11th biannual symbolic reopening of African Lodge number 459 will take place in April of 2024. Thank you for listening. For more information, you can go to princehall.org forward slash African dash lodge dash 459 forward slash. Thank you and have a great day.